our forecast. Lots of sunshine ahead for us this week. Hey, Dave. Hey, that's right. Yeah, uh, if you like the sunshine, which who doesn't really like the sunshine at all? Uh, we're talking quite a bit of it this week. The only bad part about that means hot temperatures across our area. And all this is thanks to Debbie as it works its way across North Florida and parts of southern Georgia right now. You can see the latest radar showing that heavy rain there. And the issue with this storm is that it is going to crawl very slowly across part of South Georgia, not even really get into the Atlantic till maybe Wednesday before finally moving inland here to the Carolina coastline Thursday into Friday. So flooding, significant flooding is expected. 10, 20 inches of rain not out of the question across Georgia and the Carolinas as we head into the rest of the week. So right now, again, moving northeast at 6, sustained winds at 50, pressure 9, 9 to 4 millibars. You'll notice here the track does take it here to about Savannah just on the coastline by 1 a.m. on Wednesday. And then finally kind of works its way here farther off to the east then turns north not too far away from Myrtle Beach. It works its way toward Raleigh and DC and beyond again crawling the entire time spreading torrential flooding rains significant flooding and damaging flooding is going to be a problem here across South Carolina parts of North Carolina too. For us we're on the back side of it so that means we get all the drier air here and that's indeed what's happening now. A few bands of clouds and maybe a rain and shower are coming in but water vapor moisture in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere is showing how dry it is to the north so a lot of these showers aren't even making the way here. So looking at the total moisture the next couple of days here, you see the darker reds. That's the deep tropical moisture. The rest of this is dry air building in for Tuesday into Wednesday, and this trend will continue even into Thursday as well across the area. So future cast will show again. Debbie continue to move away from us. A few cloud bands may come in through 11 o'clock tonight and can't rule out a stray shower popping up as well. But as we head throughout the day tomorrow, we'll have drier air as more northerly winds come in. And as that northerly flow continues across our area, that's going to help to lower the humidity and make things 